Okay, hello everybody. I am going to uh, walk you guys through some steps on how to uh, connect to a SQL Server um, using a Mac computer. Okay, so some of you might have a Mac and have some assignments and um, uh, projects that you need to be able to uh, access the Microsoft SQL Server. So uh, you can do it on a Mac. Uh, there's just uh, some steps that you have to go through. Okay, so I will start. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so you can see I'm running a Mac OS. Um, this is the latest version. Um, I forget what version it is. I'll just look here. So Big Sur, 11.5.2. Um, um, I have a MacBook Pro uh, with the Intel Core i9 and 16 gigs of RAM. So um, just a kind of standard um, Mac computer there. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, there's a website here uh, that we're going to follow the instructions on, um, part of the instructions anyway. Um, so and then I'm going to actually uh, deviate from a couple of the steps. So um, uh, right there is the, the URL. Um, so if you need to pause the video and uh, type that in, um, that way you can get that uh, browser window up and running. Um, go ahead. Um, so once we get on this site, uh, we're going to see we need to download a program called Docker Desktop. Okay, so um, there's a link right here. You go to that link, uh, it's going to take you to this page and it gives you a couple options. Um, if you have like the newest uh, Mac computers that have the new Apple uh, processor, um, you'll need to use that link. Um, again, you can find that by just going to the to the Apple and then about this Mac, um, it'll tell you what processor you have. I'm still, um, mine still uses the Intel um, processor. Okay, so I'm gonna need to download uh, this option here. All right, so I've already downloaded that. Um, so let's go back to the instructions here. Okay, so once you have that downloaded, go ahead and install it. All right, um, so you'll go through the standard installation process like you would with any other, um, uh, Mac app. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hide this window for just a second and I'm going to go ahead and launch that per, uh, that application. Okay. So computer here under applications and it should be Docker. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. All right. So you're going to get a window like this. Um, and say, I'm gonna delete this here just because we're gonna go through this process again. Um, so right now I, ha I have no containers running, okay? Uh, the first thing you wanna do though is um, either click on this button for settings or you can go up here. There will be a little icon uh, for the Docker app uh, up here in your toolbar at the top. Um, you can click and go to uh, preferences um, so you can click preferences or you can just click on that settings button there. And down here, I'm going to need to click on resources. And what you want to do is make sure that your memory is um, set at four gigabytes. Okay. Um, I think default, it starts at two, but go ahead and increase that to four. Uh, once you do that, you'll need to hit apply and restart. It'll take a minute to kind of relaunch Docker. Uh, once that's done, then you should be good. Okay. So I'm going to close out of preferences and we should be ready for the next step. So I'm gonna go back to the browser here. Okay, so we've done all of that. Went to the preferences, increased our memory to four. Um, okay, so right here's where we're, I'm gonna kind of uh, deviate a little bit. Um, this is to pull a SQL Server 2017 Linux container. Um, I'm actually gonna pull something else. So I'm going to switch to this tab here. All right. So if you have, um, go ahead and pause the video and type in that URL uh, that I have right there. Okay. So this is on uh, Microsoft's. This is on Microsoft's website under their documentation for SQL Docs. And I'm going to scroll down here, and we're going to we're going to need to use um, our terminal program. Okay. So before we get started here, let me hide that. 
Uh, if you don't have terminal up and running, um, I have it right down I'm here in my dock, okay, down there in the bottom left. Uh, but if you don't have it pulled up, uh, just go to your applications, scroll down until you find utilities, open that folder, and then you should see terminal. Okay, so go ahead and pull terminal up. And I'm going to increase the font size there just a little bit so you can guys see that better. And it should look like this. Okay, you'll have a window and it's telling uh, my username, name of my computer, and it's asking for the prompt. Okay, so I'll close that window out. And let's go back to that website, uh, web page here. Okay, so we need to uh, run this command. Uh, we're going to be pulling uh, SQL Server 2019. So go ahead and copy that. And uh, once you do that, you can just hit that copy button. It'll copy it to your clipboard. Uh, I'm going to go back to terminal. So click back down here to terminal. And now I'm going to paste that. So just command V on my keyboard and hit return. And it's going to ask for password. Okay, so this password is your computer password that you um, type in when you log into your Mac computer. Okay, so just whatever your local password is on your computer here. Okay, so I'm gonna type mine in and then hit return. And you can see there it's saying pulling from a SQL server. And I believe mine went, okay, so that went really fast, right? Um, that's because I have, I believe I already downloaded this, okay? So when you do it, you're probably, um, you're probably, it might not go that fast, but um, we'll go ahead and go on to the next step here though. Okay, so just depends. And some of this is gonna depend on your internet connection as well. Um, if you have a slower internet connection, it's gonna take a while to, to download uh, the package, the container, all right? Okay, so now um, I need to, um, run this command. Okay, so I'm uh, scrolling down here to step two. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. And notice here, um, there's a couple things you need to be aware of. Uh, this accept uh, end user uh, license. Um, you'll want to make sure that that equals yes. And then you'll want to set your own password. Okay, so um, you want, you'll want to change that in terminal. So let's go back to terminal now. And I'm going to paste that command. All right. And then for, um, let's go back up here. Right, I'm going to change that password. I'm going to change that. Um, you, you can put whatever password you want. I'm just going to do KSU Wildcats exclamation dollar sign. All right. Um, make sure that your end user is uh, checked on yes there. Once that's good, go ahead and run that. And um, you shouldn't have any errors and you should have your next prompt, okay? So we should all be good. Again, um, when you're doing this, it might, it's, um, those initial steps is gonna take, uh, it's gonna give you a, a screen where it's downloading um, some package files, okay? And that's probably gonna look similar to um, on this page here, again, we're not doing the step here for uh, downloading the 2017. We're doing the, the newer one there. Um, but you're probably um, on an initial pull, um, you're going to get some uh, some syntax like this on your terminal where it's um, downloading those files. Okay. So again, it's um, roughly 400 megabytes on some of those. Okay. So it's going to take it a few minutes depending on your internet connection. All right, so once that's all done, um, okay, we already did all that, okay. So again, that's why I said I'm kind of deviating a little bit because I wanted to do the 2019 uh, version. Um, 
So now we should be ready for uh, this next step. And we're going to use this program called uh, Data Grip, okay? Because um, we can't install the SQL Server uh, Management Studio on a Mac, okay? So we're going to use this other program. Uh, if you click here to Data Grip, uh, it's going to take you to this page here where you can download, okay? Now, as students, I want you to look at this option here um, under Buy. Say, so I'm going to click on Buy. Um, under special offers, if you click that, um, for students and teachers, uh, this program is free, okay? So, which is a nice deal, uh, so you don't have to use that. Um, I mean, you don't have to uh, pay for the uh, subscription. Um, so the only thing you'll need is just your uh, domain email, okay? So the dot, uh, your email with your .edu, um, EID, your ID email, okay? So like mine is michael at ksu.edu. So as long as you have that, um, you can get this program for free. So go ahead and download that program. Um, again, I've already downloaded it on my computer. So let me step back a few. Okay. All right, so we're just uh, back on that uh, tutorial page, um, section four here. Um, let me hide that and I'm gonna show you I said I've already downloaded and installed um, the data grip program um, under applications. Uh, it should be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that application. Um, it's loading a new a test one I already did. So let's go up here. And um, initially, you're going to get a screen. Let's see if I can close this out. Right. Um, Okay, um, you might get an initial screen with like a couple icons if you want to do a new project, open a project. Um, what you want to do is um, do a new project so you can um, do a new project, give it a name. Okay, I'm going to call this one test02. Hit OK. And let's go ahead and since I already have one open, um, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up in the same window there. All right, and so you should get a screen that looks like this. Okay, and so the next thing, let's go back here. Um, once we have that new project open, we need to go to file and then choose our data source. All right, and so I'm gonna go up here to file, click on data sources. All right. And right here, uh, there's a little um, plus button. I'm going to click that. And what I want to choose, so it's got all kinds of um, options here for you. Uh, anything from MySQL to Mongo, uh, MySQL Server, um, Azure, uh, SQL database. OK, so there's a lot of, um, a lot of cool options here for you to use. Uh, so I'm going to use this Microsoft SQL Server. All right, and from here, um, you might initially get a file that says um, downloads a couple, uh, I believe, a couple drivers. Let's look here. I'm going to go back to the tutorial. Yeah, um, it might say, um, so we clicked on SQL Server. Yeah, you might get this uh, a kind of a warning right here where it says download missing driver files. Um, just go ahead and click on that. Um, and from here, you can then start setting up your, um, you know, all of your host information, uh, instances, databases. Um, you can basically from here, you can take off and start um, working with whatever kind of assignment or project you need to uh, connect to. Okay. So it's just kind of that um, using this interface now to, to connect to that. All right. So that's kind of it. Um, hopefully uh, you're able to get through all these steps. Um, if you have any questions on anything, um, please shoot me an email. Uh, it's just michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, at ksu.edu. Thank you.